Welcome to this radio channel and uh, some of you have probably noticed my videos of reception of different stations with an, an SDR play RSP1A. So for you guys that uh, know someone in the chat room that goes by the name of Simon Templar, um, well, he's the, uh, the viewer that actually uh, made a, an advanced Christmas gift to me of this uh, beautiful SDR play RSP1A and I want to thank him for this uh, it's much appreciated and I've been having a lot of fun so I wanted to give my first impressions after using it now for 48 hours straight really really um, quite intensely it's, it's been working a lot and I've been tuning around a lot of signals on shortwave, medium wave and long wave uh, my first impressions and a little bit of impressions compared to my Afedri SDR. Um, one thing I noticed on the SDR play is lower noise. It is amazingly quiet compared to my Afedri and you know I suspect the Afedri has some of the noise coming from the fact that it's connected to my router but I also have suspected that the Afedri has noise that um, probably is internally also made so some of the lines or the noise that we see in the uh, waterfall or the display uh, or the spectrum are, um, I think, part of them produced by the ephedri itself and, of course, the way that it's connected to my router. First thing I noticed on the SDR play is a much more quiet environment. I have the ambient noise level, of course. That doesn't change because I got a lot of noise around me. But I do notice that there aren't these lines of intense interference every, uh, you know, uh, several kilohertz like you see. Especially um, 19 meter band was the one the worst affected by this. Um, that is a big difference. Also, one of the interesting aspects of it, and of course I am using a very high quality USB cable that has an um, a ferret uh, that is already included within the cable. It's um, a high quality cable made to reduce a radiation of interference or FI from the USB cable. Of course that probably helps but I do think that the um, uh, filtering of the um, SDR play is also very good in removing computer noise from it. The performance level I would say that um, all things equal my Afedri is probably pretty much equal to the SDR Play. So the SDR Play is quite good. But because the SDR Play has less noise, it actually is better because there's less noise and there are signals that I had difficulty tuning in because of the high noise that there was uh, that are coming in on the SDR Play. I've been using it in combination with SDR Uno software that I love. I mean, with SDR Uno, I don't want to use HDSDR anymore. It has become my single favorite uh, interface for an SDR. It is absolutely beautiful in the software, the way it's configured, the way that you can actually play with all the settings, and how it, the visuals are pretty nice too. So this is really cool because um, you can really interact. Uh, I've downloaded, of course, the SDR Uno full manual. There's a very, very nice full manual in PDF. I put it in my tablet and I'm slowly reading and learning from there. So um, it's a, a really nice piece of software. Unfortunately, SDR Uno doesn't work with much more than uh, a few uh, SDRs, including the SDR Play. Now, performance on shortwave is superb. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing. I just love it. It works great. Performance on medium wave and long wave. Medium wave, um, here in Montreal, I got a lot of very strong medium wave stations. That's where maybe it shows that it has a little bit of difficulty coping with those. Now, it doesn't matter for shortwave bands because there's a very nice um, filter. You can actually activate the uh, medium wave and FM filter to remove the possibility of these bands interfering with other parts of the spectrum. But... Um, when you listen to medium wave, one of the things that happens 
is that sometimes it will suddenly, you know, you're listening to a station like last night, I was listening to uh, WCBS New York 880, and it's coming in super well. Then suddenly it dropped off to almost zero. And to get it back, I actually had to kind of, I, I switched back on the, um, the filter for medium wave and switch it back off. It seems to be that at some point it's kind of a breakthrough. You got to play with the RF gain a lot because it does overload. And when it does, well, it becomes deaf on the medium wave band. So you got to really tweak it carefully for it to work well. But when it works well, it actually works very, very well in medium wave band. But you got to, you know, you got to play around and tweak to make sure that it doesn't overload too much on that band. Long wave band seems to be good, but unfortunately, you know, I have high interference and lack any weak signal that I could compare to really test it out. So long wave seems good. Uh, how good is it? I unfortunately cannot really um, talk much about it. But it goes from 1 kilohertz way down in the long wave spectrum all the way to 30 megahertz. Now this is a wideband receiver, so it goes up to 2 gigahertz. But if you want to hear what I think about the uh, above 30 megahertz range, go to my VHF UHF channel because that's where I'm going to talk about that part of this SDR. Uh, and last but not least that I like is, uh, so it's super performance, it's low noise. And what I really, really like is the, you don't have to, you know, tweak or, or, or once you download SDR Uno from the website that has the drivers and everything included, there's no, you know, if you go to VHF, UHF, then you come back to medium wave or short wave, there's no offset to play with. It, it, it just works. That's also something that makes life a little simpler, whatever you want to do. So it's a great SDR. I would say that if you were looking for something that's uh, reasonably priced and does a fantastic job, it's approximately in the range of about $130, $140. Um, I was looking at the uh, invoice here. In Canadian dollars, it comes out to about $150. Um, it is, for the price, absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm amazed by the performance of this thing and the low noise that is I probably of all the SDRs I've tested yet this is the one that has the lowest noise when uh, you actually have it plugged on your PC um, yeah full review will be coming up so you got to give me a little bit more time I need to test it out I need to learn a little more about SDR Uno but I will have a full review of what I think and I'll have a uh, we'll be comparing I'll, I'll be finding a way to compare signals both from uh, the SDR play and the Fedri kind of see which one is the winner in here so um, once again thanks to uh, Simon Templar for uh, the uh, really really great gift of this uh, SDR um, it's really really a lot of fun to play with if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching